We are on Mythonia Skyblock. If you guys didn't see the last one, you should go check that video out. We've done... Uh, 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 well, Bandy's done a lot since since the last one. She's got some armor. Um, she's got a new rank, apparently. Uh, we've got a lot of our minions. We're going to be moving these guys around and shuffling them. We're also going to go through and claim all of them in a bit. I've been claiming these gens here, this gen, these... That one wasn't there. I've been claiming this one and that one to get my tokens up. As you can see, I have $176,000 and 377,000 coins. If you see IS Bank Bow, we have $182 million. We also went down a little bit in island position, but that's because we were saving up our money for different spawners today. I'm also going to be changing up the system because some of these guys like to spawn outside of here. Some of them like to, the witches like to spawn outside of here and outside of here and all that. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, they're there. In fact, we're also going to try and reach dungeon level two today, which is the uh, jungle dungeon. I also have some things to show off, some gifts that I got, but we'll go over that in just a second. Where did rank come from? Oh, uh, I thought I was unmuted. A uh, rank key. <coughs> rank key? Did you, yeah. did you buy rank key yeah. or get rank key? Yeah. Rank key is really cheap, dude. Really? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's what? cheaper than buying the actual fucking rank. Well, fair. All that. That's. I think I spent like. It's not bad as well, because like... that's the third rank. I was given some items by a handsome lad on here. Um, I don't remember. We were talking about something on here, and then he was like, "Hey, I got some gifts for you," and then gave me the pirate cutlass, which, by the way, is cool looking, has durability. Not that it's good, cute. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, the jungle pickaxe is actually very cool, which he gave me. Um, so what this does is that it has a passive ability, two passive abilities, 10% um, uh, gained mining skill experience, and 7.5% uh, chance to break an adjacent ore. And then the oh. jungle rod, which has apparently enchants on it, I didn't even realize. Luck of the C3 and lore 3, and gives 10% passive to fishing experience, and a 2% chance to double the catch you can see yeah. i've been doing a little bit of voting I, not a whole lot i've got 30 vote crate keys 21 rare four epic and now a rank one you said that uh, give key you re-roll but no, i don't even know it's crate transfer oh that you is put a my thing. name in oh i didn't even do that the crate. i'm probably not gonna do that because i do want to kind of i mean i guess it's the same animation isn't it i'll let yes. chat decide do we just open it ourselves and just pray that our luck is good because my rank is the lowest rank right now which cannot re-roll crates you can see if i open up this vote crate it's gonna be a bit loud i can't re-roll i don't have that ability so i got two hundred and twenty-five thousand. gamble all right i gotta gamble all right i'm gambling i'm gambling i'm sorry gambling was that a good one ember you oh my ember? fucking yeah i should have let bandy do it come here <laughs> i'm trying to get away from people again uh, i think there's a trade command Oh, there is okay. a trade command, actually, because I did okay. that with the one dude to trade. <gasps> I got a combat pet! I feel like we need a Can better way to do these crates. Holy. I just bought 10 epic keys. <gasps> Farming pet! Oh, my God. Anyways, I have a lot more minions to place down, but I'm actually going to wait until we, we only move them. place down 20. Oh, I'm thinking we pick them all up, organize them, split them into categories... And mm -hmm. for one, we should place the higher, uh, the higher ones first. Um... Actually, I think that, yeah, I think we place the higher ones first, but then we also put, you know, we split up the 20 between all of the, uh, the types as best as we can. I need to go ahead, I guess I'll do pet. So I've got scavenger, combat, farming. I'm gonna go and do farming first. So I'm gonna grab all of- Holding, 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 waiting, waiting. This guy's a farmer, and he gives us, uh, 24,000 experience out of 7,500. Yep. Oh my god, that's so much experience. I went all the way to level 12. And then this and then last that. one has 51,000. Oh my god, so many mining levels. Ooh. Combat level 13, mining level 16, farming level 17, scavenging level 16, and fishing level 19. That is actually so. insane. I could go up two dungeons today. Oh, I got a, I got a jungle loot box. Ooh, oh, opening a loot box too. Bam, 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 bam. Do the loot boxes get better as you go along? No. No, it's just roughly the same? That's kind of sad. It's just the same. It's just the fucking same. Yeah. Well, the, it t so, like, from junk, so from pirate to jungle, the jungle has better shit in it. Oh, well, that's what I mean. Like, it is, like, the different, like, dungeon ones. Like, and that, that answered my question. From yeah, they, pirate to uh, uh, so uh, like... jungle is better. And we wanted to get some iron golems today? Yep. 
yeah, yeah. All right. How many can we buy? I think that's a billion. No, we can buy a lot. They're like uh, 25 million. Seven of them? And they're the highest one, nope. right? Yeah, about seven. Yep. Yeah. And one thing I want to do is I want to move these systems and change them up. Yeah. Now, I told Bandy this idea. I already have a rough idea. We're also going to have to remove all of these. That's going to be fun. All this all this cobble. I guess I can use the blaze At pickaxe for that. At least we have a that. pickaxe for it. Unlike wood, we don't have... Axe. This is the thing we've learned. I think if we do a future season of this, we start with a void island, but we go to the dungeon yeah. first so we can get some money and then, you know, buy some building blocks and then build from there. And I then mean, we I technically can do that, but I mean, we would have to like literally pick up everything that we need to bring over. Do you over. want to do that is the question, because I, I don't know what you lose. I think we just lose island upgrades, but if I'm being honest with you, the island upgrade is useless. Much. God, it's so barren. We start our adventures, guys. Now I can officially title it, uh, Surviving on One Block in Minecraft. Alright, cool. And now we, uh, are ready to do big brain things. I, I think I'll just make this simple. Yeah, because actually, if I, I was gonna make it, I was gonna make the tube of this the size of the portals. But if I just make it the, the, the typical two by two, no, because I guess that'll be uneven. If I understand these correctly, and this might not work how I think it is, but we're going to test it, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to have every single type of spawner inside of here. They're all going to go into this hole, they're all going to fall, and they're going to go through their respective cell portal. So it would be Iron Golem, then if anything that's not an Iron Golem would fall past it, going to the next portal, and die in that one. So that, and then that, <clears throat> and then that should work. Yes! And then all I got to do is do that on all four corners. But I gotta quickly get Dilly, and we'll finish this in a second. So, give me one second, guys. Oh my god, Broska, you're so right. Your message did appear on screen. And you, watching this on YouTube, if you are if you want your message to appear on screen when I go intermission time, you should follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash flurpolder. You know what I forgot to do? I was supposed to upload a clip today, or publish it. I was gonna publish it late, fuck it. Uh, also, did that work how I thought it would? I actually don't know if it did. I think the cell portal might have just deleted them anyways. I actually wanna yeah. see. You do have to be within a radius, so we'll set up like an AFK warp. I'll set it up, um, can you do me a favor and stand on this block for a minute? Yeah. I'm just gonna back up. Okay. Because there's a fun, fun fact about spawners, if you didn't know. Um, if To test if they're AFK, if they're AFKable or not, this is the best way. You have someone stand where you want to essentially AFK them, and if you see them spinning, that means that they are being generated. If Bandy were to fly away for a second, you will see that the spawners will stop spinning, uh, and that means that they are no longer j uh, being active. So we're essentially going to have three completely different systems. Which is, oh, I guess not completely different. The first system, a little excessive. It works. Would have worked better if it would have just worked for all the spawners. Unfortunate. The second one was a fuck up that I didn't want to fix because I'm lazy. And this third one is going to be probably a refined version. This is the system we came up with for the third one. Um, This is three different systems. This one is probably the best you can do. Just simply build two out from the portal, build a thing, it all goes into the middle. And actually, there won't even be that issue where things get pushed into the middle and bob a bit. They'll just go into the middle, fall, die, good. I might even redo this system, actually, to match that one. I think I will. I want to quickly check the auction house. Where much time? Two minutes. All right, it is way up there in price. All right, I'm just gonna, can I, like, custom bid? Yeah, and you're right, like, as soon as it gets low, everyone's going in. All right, let me just, so you're telling me I can't custom bid, and if the bid changes, it cancels my fucking thing? Yep. That's annoying. Yep, Damn it, dude, he got it. Three. That's such an annoying system. Hold on. Wait a minute. When you bid on something, even if you don't get it, you lose your money? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. That is so stupid. We got this set up. It's doing its thing. We can AFK that later. Bandy is doing big brain things over here. I think I'm actually able to go to the next dungeon already, funnily enough. I was like, hey, I'm gonna get to the next dungeon. I already can. I guess I just oh, do shit. things. Um, hmm. Interesting. I kind of want to test this rod out, actually. Is uh, Can I fish here? Nice! 2,500 common drop. Ooh, it's, this is so much better. Okay. Ooh, two spider spawners? Pog. Key. I'm scared to, but I kind of want to go see what the mobs down below are like. So I think I'm going to do that. And, yeah, have them spiders. Okay. And potentially also maybe do a little bit of mining down there. I think that's going to be my best bet. Especially yep. since I have the jungle pickaxe. Although it's going to mine slow because I don't have efficiency. Key. Ooh, it broke the, the adjacent block. Nice. 
I need to find a better area to break, though. Oh. I'm gonna drop to the very bottom and see what happens. Oh, those are spiders down here. Oh, that looks like a good mining area, but the spiders might make that not good. I'm not doing any damage to them. They don't make any sounds as well. Oh, did I turn down... Oh, I did turn on the hostile creatures. Hi. The spiders are actually, I think, more manageable than these zombies. I just one-shot that, that spider. What? I can see how you got all those spider spawners now, because, my God, I'm already at 50. So, here's the thing, though, that I realized is that... While I was in the jungle area, I got sh the artifacts faster. Though it's higher price, right? It, you get it easily. Yeah, it's but it, that it's kind of bad balancing in my opinion because it's it literally is roughly like they they raise the price but l raise the speed. It's roughly the same process. And this is this is what I mean by balancing. I was trying to say like in terms of balancing, the balance or like the scaling progression on this server kind of sucks because it should be. Yeah. It, in my opinion, as a player, it should be easier at the start and progressively get harder. Because I think the ideal way of doing it would be, um, I would say probably about an hour and a half, maybe, of grinding in the pirate dungeon to get every single skill to level 10, and also, at the very least, get half of the armor, I would say. And maybe a sword. Maybe. Rather than be like, no, oh, you gotta grind for three fucking hours just to get a chest plate. I'm gonna buy is. as many epic keys as it lets me. Okay, 28. <laughs> 3,500. I actually, like, I'm literally okay with experience. I, would, I think there's other things I would rather get, but I think experience would probably be higher than money and higher than coins. Because the coins, one, I don't think it's, coins are gonna be a huge problem for us. No. And also, it's kind of an L when I bought these crates for twice three times four times as much as the coins i'm getting back surely one of these will be a legendary key <gasps> legendary key <gasps> i was right guys poggers now i just have to get a dungeon key all right and the legendary key actually i'm gonna save that i'm gonna quickly i'm gonna quickly go i couldn't oh i could enchant something to level two if i wanted to but i think i'm just gonna get unbreakable i think it's just bad <gasps> oh vote party please something good 12,000 experience. Well, guys, this was Mythonia. We actually did a, a fair bit today. We did hit the tier 2 dungeon. Technically, I already had that from uh, off-camera work. Not even off-camera work. From off-camera AFKing. That's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. For the YouTube side, if you haven't yet, go down below. Leave a like on this one. Subscribe for more. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.